Yeah, I got bad news. This isn't going to be per uh, pixel perfect. But welcome to the stream, Symphony of the Night Randomized. Boy, did I have some problems getting this working. Nary, bless his soul, helped me to the best of his ability. And we, we got something. But um, perfect pixels are not one of them. And um, it's real small on my end. S-M-O-L. Very small. But yeah, this is... Um, this is a randomizer. I wanted to do this for a while, um, and now is a good time for it. So, Symphony of the Night randomized. It randomizes relics and items and stuff like that, and, and drops. And um, I haven't played this game in three and a half years, believe it or not. thought it was much sooner than that. I just played other Castlevania games in the meantime, but uh, not this one. One second, let me get rid of... Pixel perfect mode. See, I can't get you them perfect pixels, as I said. To my eternal shame. Why is the pause button fast forward? Who... What kind of monster would do such a thing? A frog, perhaps. Some kind of... Suicide squad. Alright. So, yeah, let's, let's hope everything works. Instead of doing Order of Ecclesia, which is, again, a great game. Nothing against it. Uh, I'm gonna save that for a later date, until, um, after Blood Friend Ritual of the Night. I'm not gonna do cutscenes, like, too much. Not like those, because, uh, you can just watch my actual stream of this from several years ago. I'm just gonna go through this quickly. You know, check out the randomizer stuff. Enjoy the music. Why is that, uh... Boy, that resolution is small. What's going on with this? Die, monster! Gotta listen to this. You don't belong in this world! It was not by my hand that I'm once again given flesh. Gotta listen to I all of it. I was called here by humans who wish to pay me tribute! Tribute? tribute? You, you steal, steal men's, men's souls, souls! And make them your slaves! Perhaps, Perhaps the same could be said of all religions! Your words are as empty as your soul. Mankind ill needs a savior such as you. What? What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about, How about you? you? It's well written. I mean, this should have been in the Castlevania collection, but, you know. I, I don't remember how to do the, uh, the moves. I'm trying to do them like Smash Brothers. Dracula is doing some, like, heavy projectile spam right now. Hydro Storm! Hydro Storm! Dead. No, this cannot be! Oof, that audio mixing, Jesus. So I'll tell you exactly what's been changed in this here randomizer. Enemy drops, item locations, Relic locations, starting equipment, prologue rewards, and turkey mode. I don't know what turkey mode means. So if you want to watch the game for the story... Just watch my original, um... Symphony of the Night stream. May the power of the rune swords and nova skeletons be with you. I could find a rune sword on a regular skeleton. This game has some wacky resolution issues. Okay, so I'm randomized. And I got the Holy Rod instead of the Alucard Sword. Um, I got the Skull Shield. Oh, God. The resolutions change. Huh. Skull Shield, uh, Goggles, Dracula Tunic, Crystal Cloak, Ring of Arcana. Bone Shield, everybody. Alright, so, yeah. Just make sure you can see everything. Yeah, you're, you're getting you're getting everything. Again, this this game is um. I don't want to say the, the magic word, which is it's a word that starts with E and ends with you late. But um, let's say I'm having trouble with that at the moment. Eggulate, overclockulate. Vinny, were you wearing gray today? Because I think I saw you walking in front of my house earlier today at around 7:30 ish. I'm gonna find out that they live in California. Ah, Alucard. Ah, Alucard. What is your business here? 
I've come to put an end to this. Still befriending mortals. I'll not ask you to return to our side, but I demand you cease your attack. I will not. You shall regret those words. We will meet again. What? Yeah. That sucks. There's a little bit I did about how, you know, death was like Alucard's uncle several years ago. We will eat again! The corruption stream ruined this game. Hell yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, poor, poor Alucard just, you know, coming back to the castle to hang out with Dad and, and Uncle Death. Great sword. Well, it looks like I have a weapon for the next four uh, hours of gameplay. Meal ticket. Oh boy. So, I've never done this game randomized before. In fact, I think this is a fairly new randomizer. And, uh, it was recommended a couple times. And also, I know Castlevania has had plenty of randomizers, but not this game. There was some, like, weird randomization that they had for this that wasn't that good. It's fairly new, it's still being worked on. Yeah, there was a relic randomizer, that's the one. But, I mean, this- this should go relatively quickly, this- this whole run of the game. Especially if I can continue <laughs> to get broken ass fucking swords. Like this here obsidian sword. This has got a good, um, bonus move. This is weaker, but it's got a good, uh, lunge attack. Fire boomerang? I mean, there's way more great weapons than shitty ones in this game, so. Vinny, I'm sorry my stupid friend almost hit you with his shitty car. Yeah, I mean, that was me. I was there, I was wearing the gray shirt and everything. And everyone clapped. But, uh, yeah, I've been streaming kind of... Like, later and later lately. I'm not even gonna pretend like I'm gonna fix that. If I fix it, I fix it. But, uh... Man, I would've been... I would've been live a little bit earlier. If Castlevania just worked. So I have this weird... Um... PlayStation... Egulation that was supposed to be good for this. It was called PSX... J... Pixel perfect means that the resolution changes. Swap to use system recommendation if you don't want the rescaling. Um... Use system recommendation. Like, kind of the same thing. It's gonna continue to swap resolutions, I think. Uh, here comes the cowboy. This works. I can live with this. But anyway, yeah, I couldn't configure my controller in that other one I mentioned. So that was the first issue. And then I went to EPSXE, which is an egulator as well. And that one uh, I was recommended against by the wiki. So there's, there's like a million and one different things that could go wrong. And uh, I just, you know. If Retro Arc wasn't such a bitch, I'd use that. What's Turkey Mode? I don't know. Fire Boomerang is only one-time use. The Great Sword is, is way better. Let's see what this has. This does not have a lunge attack, but it's... ...really powerful. Also, the, the other problem with these two-handed weapons is they slow Alucard down. I see them, them pixels getting a little chungy. You see the warping? I, you know, I pay much attention to these things. Perhaps too much attention. Vinny, I hope you know all the relic locations. What's the settings? Um, it says... Append seed to file name. Show spoilers. But I don't have the seed name anymore. I, uh, I, I copied over it. Is, is that bad? That's very bad. It'll say the seed name on the character select screen. Okay. Someone said, can't wait for this moment to be a comedic setup in the compilation. Oh no, I'll, I'll be fine. There's... No problem. It's gonna be okay. Hello, Alucard, it's me! Slogra! I was gonna do, um, a Zelda randomizer, but then I realized, wait, I'm already playing a Zelda game. So I'll space that out. Wind Waker randomized sounds like fun. But, that's another time. I feel like, in, you know, to honor the Castlevania collection that came out on the Switch, and, uh, and all the other wherevers, um, it would be nice to play a Castlevania game again. One that's not included in the collection. One that will eventually come out, I think. Castlevania Collection 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. God, this sword sucks. 
It's so good, but it's so fucking slow. Like, um, the best way to attack with this sword is to jump, so you don't get the, um, the lag time. Because it's like a full second and a half of Alucard just swinging the goddamn sword. Vinny, why aren't you playing Castlevania 4? I mean, the same could be said of all religions. Vinny, honestly, when's Ecclesia? You joined too late, my lad. I'll be playing that sometime after, uh, Bloodstained comes out. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Well, that fixes the scrolling issue, but now I have to squint to see the screen. It's real small. We, you guys can see it perfectly, so I'll just, like, look at it through XSplit, I guess. Wait, no, that, that won't work. Sorry, everybody. The, the setup, like I said, this has been a nightmare. Yeah, the latency's low enough, I can just play it through here. I could scale it up. This is better, because now when I scroll from left to right, things don't get wobbly. Can't get up there. Well, I could go down. Yeah, let's go down. Vinny, I never played a Castlevania. Where should I start? Honestly, I think you should start with this one. Castlevania 4? No, I think this is... This and Castlevania 4 are good choices. I think Arya and Dawn of Sorrow are also good choices. There's a lot of good choices. But I like this one the best, still. Because the music and, and the, uh, the shaft and, and all that stuff. Vinny, check to see if the game is set to mono instead of stereo. It is, isn't it? Hang on, let me get that fixed. This game does not want me to stream it. I didn't need to resta uh, restart, did I? Yeah, I think the best Castlevania game to start with is Castlevania 64, probably. Yeah, start with that one. Not Legacy of Darkness, 64. Play it on a nice crusty TV. Yeah, and then Lords of Shadow 2. Good choice, good choice. Lords of Shadow 2. It'll be like a whole new world of, of sound. Listen to that sound. Man, I didn't even... I didn't even notice what was happening. I was so upset about the emulation. The egg... egg you... The... Eggs. The drop rates in this game are really low to begin with. I say that and then something drops, but... Oh! Oh my god! I called it! I fucking called it! No fucking way! The verboten weapon is here, now the run is a joke. <laughs> Where's them Nova... You know what? The karma... ...of what happened all those years ago. Me getting the rune sword, then losing it to the Nova Skeleton. Like, I've been repaid. The universe balanced everything out, as all things should be. And I got a familiar, I got a little demon fella. How do I- how do I get that demon fella on? Oh, there he is. I should know these things. No armor. Everybody knows the rules. Rune sword, no armor. Doesn't matter, killing things in two hits. No sub weapon either. And just as I had predicted, a motherfucking scrub tier skeleton dropped the rune sword. Perhaps the best sword in the game. Some would argue. If I get the chrysogram, or however the fuck you pronounce that, that would be life changing. Mental. Yeah, I could still get, you know, cocky and get killed. There's every chance that could happen. I can't believe he's not saving just to annoy the chat. I have to hit a save room, chat. I don't think, um, I don't think the level 1 enemies are gonna pose much of a threat. But, we're good, we're saved. Someone in chat just said, guys, what are you saying? Save states. This is a real physical game of Castlevania randomized. It's, it's true. I picked it up at a flea market. Yeah, it was weird. I walked into the flea market next to the uh, bones that they were selling, which is true, by the way. There was an outdoor flea market I went to in Pennsylvania years ago, and they were selling, like, tons of bones. They were, like, dog bones. Not, like, dead dogs. Like, for your doggo to chew on. And, um, it was just tons of those, and then, like, like, small doll heads 
like baby doll heads, which is totally normal and not weird. And then video games not too far from there. But yeah, they were selling the Castlevania randomized disc just right next to the dog bones and doll heads. I think it was from the collection of Jay Dahmer. I don't know who that is, but Jay Dahmer donated that stuff to the flea market. They opened a wing in a library. Something like that. Vinny, this sounds like a low-effort horror story. Oh, you mean every every horror movie that's been coming out the past several years? Dollhead. The scariest movie of the summer. Well, I watched the movie Dollhead, Jay. It's me, Mike the Closet. Ah. Uh, it was a little... it was a weird movie, Jay. Ah. Uh. Yeah, but flea markets like that usually have bootlegs anyway. Like, you get Marlowe Brothers, Zor Zordon, and, like, a bunch of, like, ROM hacks put on, uh, cartridge. I mean, it's... yeah. I mean, those are at conventions as well. I've yet to go to a convention where there are games next to a pile of doll heads and bones, but... And then, like... Let me lower this a little bit, just because these lads are screaming very loudly. Um, at that same flea market, they sold the Halo Sword. And, like, Batman Bat Blades. And lots of other, like, high-powered... I say high-powered, but very sharp weaponry. And BB guns, of course. BB guns. Every flea market sells the Halo Sword. Yeah, every flea market, and also every, um, every convention that has swords. Which, some conventions won't let you buy real swords anymore. But I remember New York Comic Con was selling weapons. I don't know if they still do, I don't remember, but... Is that the sword Metroid uses? Metroid uses that sword. Someone in chat just said, but what if I must defend Milady's honor? I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. My queen! Danny! You don't want it! Danny! Danny! I mean, Danny! I don't really see the need to buy a real weapon at a convention, but I- people do it! I've seen them, you know, I've seen people walk out. You can't walk in with a weapon, but you can walk out with one. What does the sword slash say? Uh, it says verboten. Also, if you go into YouTube and type Vine Sauce Symphony of the Night or Vine Sauce Castlevania Rune Sword, you'll see a really cool video about this sword and how it was taken away from me by a Nova Skeleton. Verboten means forbidden in German. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these things. I have, you know, just gonna have to deal with the fact that I now have, uh, you know, just two rune swords. What an amazing randomizer seed I got. Yeah, <laughs> this game's pretty much over now. Every enemy is grass, and Alucard is a lawnmower. But what's better, two rune swords or two dawnbreakers? That's the question. And the better question is, does it shoot Bowsers? I'm gonna nerf myself real quick. We all know that the broadsword is way better than the rune sword. Don't even play. Down is a dead end. Right, it's the bird area. Oh god, I, I saw something really gut-wrenching today. I, I debated on whether or not I, I even wanted to bring it up on stream. It was uh, bird-related. If you're not... If you don't have a strong stomach... Not even a strong stomach, but if, if you get really, like, um... ...upset... ...by... by bad things that happen to good birds... ...then you might want to mute for about a minute and a half. Alright, well, it, I don't know what kind of birds they were, but maybe, like... ...not sparrows, not pigeons, but, um, some kind of bird. There are two of them. I was walking into the studio, and I saw them on the sidewalk. And, um... ...it looked like... One bird was- was having sex with the other bird. And I was like, wow, they're really going at it. Then, I realized one of the birds wasn't moving. Starlings? Black with shiny wings? Maybe. Yeah, might have been starlings. One of the birds wasn't moving. And, um... And then I thought the other bird had killed it and kept pecking at it. And then I thought, wait a minute. Is this bird's friend dead? And is the bird trying to wake up the other bird? And Joe saw it. And it was, like, I was just, like, affixed by this, and it was really sad, and I hated it. But what I'm pretty sure happened, what I, what I think happened now, is... I walked closer, they were stuck together. And the bird was trying to free itself, because the, the other bird was dead, and was clawing the other bird. And it was... wow. 
No, 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 they weren't stuck together, like, conjoined. It was like, I think they got into a fight, one of them died, and it had like a, like a vice-like rip on the other one. And, uh, I considered like, oh god, should I do something? Should I free... Should I free the bird? But then Joe had this, this like, if you... If you touch the birds... One, don't fucking touch stray birds, that's weird. But, two... If you do, uh... They get shunned. Apparently. Um, and th they're, you know, their people, their bird people don't accept them anymore. Is that not true? That's a myth? Okay. Alright, never mind. Um, in any case, there's a happy ending to this story. I wasn't about to start touching fucking random ass dead birds. I felt really bad. But the happy ending is that, um... The other bird escaped. So that was fine. The dead one escaped, correct, yes. The dead one came back to life, and... Yeah. But, um, it was- it was fucking gut-wrenching. I hated it. Starlings are an invasive species, so fuck them. Vinny, is this a Carl story? It feels like it, doesn't it? Vinny, I thought you were gonna say something awful. Well, that was kinda awful. In some ways. Someone in chat just said, the murderer got away. Happy ending. Maybe- well, we don't know that the bird killed the other bird. What if they were attacked? Yeah, who knows? I mean, who the hell knows what happened? Vinny, you're talking shite. Play a record. Vinny, stop using the OP broadsword. You're making the game too easy. I know. Look what it can do. Three hits. This game isn't exactly the paragon of difficulty to begin with. Someone said, what exactly does randomizer mean? So if you just joined, uh, I'm playing the randomized version of Symphony of the Night, which it would be nice if some of the enemies were randomized too. But anyway, I feel like there's more... Excuse me, I'm- I'm saying- I'm speaking very loudly over this game's music, which I'm normally okay with, but... Um... I feel like there's more room for development, and this could get even better. Yeah, like, enemy drops, item locations, relics, all that stuff is randomized. Is the point of a randomizer that you can get a god weapon at the start, or pure trash throughout most of the run? The point of a randomizer is different per game. I mean, with Mario, the levels are randomized. The order of the levels with Zelda, the dungeons are randomized, time, old one. stuff like that. Oh, it's you, Master Alucard. Oh! What do you need? I'm interested in this. Wow, I have to buy the bat. That's really, really cool. So I have to get the bat. That's a necessary item. You're not supposed to be able to buy the bat, by the way. That's part of the randomizer. I'm interested in this. <laughs> Thank you. Thank I'm you. Interested in this. Well, I can fly now. That opens up most of the castle. This is a, this is an item you're supposed to get way later. This is going to be a pretty short run, I think. This game is famous for its voice acting, for anyone who's never seen this game before. I would recommend doing a playthrough just for the voice acting. I met the dude, Robbie Belgrade, who does the voice of Alucard. He was at Too Many Games one year, and uh, he was playing a drum. He said, hey man, good work. Yeah, like a single drum. It was weird. I don't know what it was. It was some kind of, like, specific drum. I am now a ninja in this game as well. Well. <laughs> 3D books. Dracula Tunic is now here. Drac- I repeat, Dracula Tunic is now here. Wait, that's not as good as I thought. It's pretty good, right? I mean, everything goes up a little bit. It's not like a god item. Eight defense. I don't remember if that's good for this game or not. Eight defense, best armor. It is fairly good. Yeah, this has got attack up as well. Um... The cube of Zoe would be really nice about now, so I could see what- Amount of damage I'm doing to enemies. It's one of the first things you get in the game, and I got something else instead. Wow! Oh, fuck you! I guess I'm not invincible then. This is like when I played as Scoot in, uh, Blazing Beaks. And I was like, oh my god, look how overpowered I am. And then I died immediately. 
Remember when Dak told Luke in Empire Strikes Back, I feel like I could take on the whole Empire myself. That's me right now. Can he remember Smooth Walrus? What was Smooth wal Walrus? You have to remind me. Drawlrus. Oh, for the oh, right, from The Last Jedi. Right. I'm gonna need to do a Dark Metamorphosis. It's a circle on top and attack. Dark Metamorphosis! Vinny, did you see the Playdate game console? Yeah, there's a handheld game console coming out called the Playdate, and it looks like a little yellow Game Boy. And it's got a hand crank on it. It's got a, a black and white screen, and it's got a crank. They, they may as well also, like, have it come with a latte. And a beard. Free beards and lattes with, with the, uh, the Playdate game console. Giros play. Gold circlet, and ghost card. Get a little ghost fella following me around if I want. What do you think, chat? Ghost or demon fella? They're both spooky. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not I'm not feeling the ghost. Eye of Vlad obtained. First relic obtained. They are not in fact placed in random like the other relics aren't just relics. So the relics could be anywhere. Um, that's one of five, though. That's good. I need four more of those, and, uh, then we can defeat Upside Down Dracula. Take a look. Eye of Vlad is luck plus ten. Daniel! <laughs> okay. Okay. So more luck means more drops, which means more broken weapons. Possibly. I don't think we're gonna get too much more broken than double rune sword, but... There's a couple weapons that are even better. Chrysagrim. Chrys... 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 Mm. Oh. I gotta activate the elevator first. For a game I've played probably about a dozen times, I really, really don't remember... ...things I should remember. So you are the elevator they call Shaft. Vinny, did you see that? that wasn't my joke, that was a chat member joke. Um, Vinny, did you see the... ...Final Fantasy VII HD version released? That's cool. Not the... Not the one that you're thinking of, chat. Not the, um... The, the remake, just the, uh... Enhanced texture version. Not, not the remake, just the HD update that a fan made. I don't plan on streaming Final Fantasy VII... ...anytime soon. The next time I stream that game will be the remake. So never, right, never. But, uh, Final Fantasy IX... Soon coming this summer, Vivi Zidane, or is it Zidane, or doesn't matter, Zidane Kuja, the villain that everyone forgets about in the rock sockum cock sucking hit of the summer, Final Fantasy IX Zygote Kuja is probably the least intimidating villain for me. I don't, I don't think Kuja. Is all that cool, cool? I forgot Freya. Yes, Freya's Freya's kind of cool. Freya reminds me of Brienne of Tarth. Where is Tarth? So yeah, I don't know. I'll probably stream that in the summer. I don't really have anything else to say tonight, so I'll just repeat myself several times. Who wants to hear the story about the um? No, I told that one. The pe no. Does anyone want to hear the dead bird story? It ends with, um, a funeral, and the bird in a box. Good shit. Ah, it's the Alucard shield! It's Japes. No sub-weapons, at all. With double rune sword, you don't need sub-weapons. No, I'm- yeah. That's- that's definitely... That's true. Metroid Prime 1 and 2 randomizers. Metroid Prime 2 has a built-in tracker. That's cool. Gravity boots. Oh, okay. <laughs> I guess I don't need bat anymore. I can yeet myself into the air at a high speed. God, I wish it was bound to a button instead of up and down. It, it's down up to do this, and sometimes it just doesn't. You gotta be, like, super precise with it. You can't do multiple gravity jumps without the leap stone. Are you serious? Wow, getting stuff out of order is really fucking weird in this game. 
I've learned several new things about this game in the past hour alone. Least threatening Medusa heads in Castlevania history. Partially because I'm overpowered, but also because this game is not that hard. I, I say, as I land on spikes multiple times- Never mind, I spoke too fucking soon. Oh no! Best to say it when you're in a safe zone. An exclusion zone, perhaps. There's a 50% chance you get warped into Castlevania. But you have diarrhea. All the time you're there. Alucard goes so far, so fast, the camera doesn't even know how to keep up. Oh, this lag. Oh, I got a stupid hat now. This is a good farming spot. For the uh, Flamberg or Flamberg. Fl Flamberg. This game has one of those weird quirks where in order to use your um in order to use your items you have to equip them first. Vinny, remember to buy pancake bread. Not only have I remembered, that time is gone completely, and the pancake bread has either expired or turned to excrement. Oh, I forgot. I promised we wouldn't do any poop jokes anymore. Yeah, it's part of me now. The pancake bread is... It remains somewhere. Even if it's only like 0.0003%. It's, it, you know, it's there. But Vinny, do you really need two rune swords? No. Absolutely not. I do not need two rune swords. I didn't need two Dawnbreakers in Skyrim, either. Magic. Missile. That's a Dungeons & Dragons thing, isn't it? Magic Missile? It started in D&D? Vinny, how can you not know that? I literally just told you that I knew that. Yeah, no, I, I guess I question it because I just didn't... 100% know. I was testing- yes, that's right, I was testing your knowledge, chat. I didn't- I didn't know what the fuck it was, I just- I just remember it was a meme in some video from 20 years ago. I'm gonna cast... Magic Missile! Banana. Some fucking sick bastard put banana in a hidden room... ...in the castle, on a pedestal. That was lunch. Some construction worker. Like some... ...unpaid... Construction work because Dracula doesn't pay his workers. Left his lunch there. Lots of familiars. His name is Guillermo and he is my familiar. I have no double drum. What's up with your words this week? I don't know. M minor stroke, perhaps? Like, I don't like to joke about shit like that. But I, I guess I do because I just did, so. It's the singer from Buck Cherry. The words man we made him up guy? I think he just ruined my vocabulary. Well, it's not even vocabulary, it's just pronunciation's been terrible. Two relics. I could actually finish the game right now. Oh shit, it's the werebane, I guess. I thought that was the balmung. Not in fact the balmung. Effective against werebats. Sorry, werebeasts. I used this extensively in my previous playthrough three and a half years ago, I remember that. So I got this, uh, gum. Airheads White Mystery Gum. And it loses flavor very quickly. But they sell you, um, they sell it to you under the, the concept, under the, the premise that there's micro candies in it. Micro candies, everybody. So I just chewed, in the time it took me to tell you that, I just chewed a piece. And I got all the flavor out of it. Uh, micro candies are just sugar. That's what it is, it's just sugar. Still, more flavor than zebra stripe gum. Desert just says, hi Binti, I'm coking May, Caroni, and Chez. I've been waiting for you. Get out of here, Desert. So it is you. But why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him, then the battle will last for eternity. <laughs> 
Jesus. Holy Christ! All right, Richter, but have you seen that I have two rune swords? Magnificent! But now feel my unbridled wrath. Thanks for the healing, dude. It's a good thing I have that, uh, that holy circlet for just such an occasion. It's over, Belmont. So, the war between humans and vampires finally ends here. What need for the shepherd when the wolves have all gone? My time on this world has come to an end. What? Dude? graphics remember you needed 3d graphics if you were in the era of PlayStation this was vital this was a selling point just a little bit of cutscene just a little FMV stand Mankind continues to fight, but it is a desperate fight to stay alive. I suppose that he chose a life of warfare, since that was the only way he knew. Like you, father, he chose a path of destruction. Farewell, land of my birth. Never again will these eyes gaze upon your beauty. <laughs> Nope. Oh, I'm not getting you that song yet. Not until we get the real ending. And then we will listen to the song in full. For better or worse. Probably worse. Vinny, I heard when this game came out, some magazines gave it bad reviews because they said the game was so short. You beat Richter and that's it. Yeah, I mean... It's a shame. It's a shame the game is over so soon. But I guess when the game came out, internet was still like a new novel thing. And the only thing that was really on there that was advanced at that point... ...was, was the porno. So, if you wanted to look up the fact that the game had multiple endings... ...you might not easily be able to find it. Well, remember, the porn industry has always advanced the technology. I'm not even really... You know, I'm not even just trying to be funny about that. In fact... In college... I had a professor that did an entire day... ...about... Um, how porn... ...drove the industry... ...and how it did, how it brought it... I don't remember most of it, but yeah. Porn major, everybody! You don't have to believe me... ...if you don't think it's true. Someone... A couple people in chat were like, ah, I don't know about that. I don't know if porn... If the porno actually did influence the industry of technology as much as it did, and it kind of really did. Down to the VHS market. Hey, magic missile. There's, um, there's a couple Lord of the Rings swords in this game, too, if I'm not mistaken. Glamdring, Gandalf sword, is in this. Was Orchrist in this, or no? What was the- was- Sting- no, Sting wasn't in this. So, Glamdring and... What was the other one? Gram, the sword named Gram, a sword named Gram. Um, Chrysogram, is it Lord of the Rings sword? Mormagil, Girthang, Mablong, man, Tolkien. Where the fuck did Tolkien come up with these words? Jesus. Varda. Yeah, Varda, that one makes sense. Tolkien was a professor of linguistics. Impressive. You're very strong. Well, I'm sorry, who are you? What is it you want? You didn't come here to tell me that. You're right. Do you know the name Richter Belmont? Richter? Of the Belmont clan? Of course, but... He disappeared about a year ago, and I'm sure he's here. If you see him, 
Please let me know. As you wish, my lady. Thank you. So, you do know how to be a gentleman. So, there's so much goddamn weird, like, slap back and short reverb on their voices. It makes you feel like you're really in a castle. Also, Alucard's the one buying the, uh, the swords at the anime convention. Like an anime fan on prom night! But, uh, yeah, no, Tolkien, he was able to create so many words because he was a linguistics professor, or he, you know, he was into the words. And, uh... And words, man! We made them up! He made them up, too. Saw that coming a mile away, come on. Duplicator. The fuck is the... What is this? Duplicates use items? Why is this in here? Infinite items, huh? So, okay, so, does anyone in chat know how to use this item? Because I want infinite magic missiles. This is a post-game item? <laughs> yeah, this randomizer needs some work, maybe. Alright, well, I now have infinite magic missiles, everybody. I have a couple other cool items here. Um, the Buffalo Star, I have... Heart Refresh, I have, um... Bat Pentagram that damages all enemies. <laughs> How do you all feel about a 100% drop rate? Let's see, Monster Vial 2. Bat! <laughs> Do I now just have all of those? Yep. Yep. <laughs> I did not expect this to be a broken run like this. Food for the entire chat. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, that's enough. TNT. <laughs> I saw TNT. I found a mic. I mean, is there even any point for me to continue this playthrough? <laughs> like, you, you all know what's gonna happen. It's just a matter of when. Now it's just about enjoying the music. People seem to like the fact that I'm breaking the game now. It could break even more. I no, I think the duplicator probably broke it about as much as you can get it. Get the power of Sire. If I can find it. I mean, uh, yeah. There's. Um. It's just. Yeah. I just been pressing buttons now. I still can't even go through those. I think. Um. I'm just gonna go for luck potions. I'm just gonna farm whatever. Anything that an enemy drops. I want it. Go fight the optional boss and, boss and the catacombs. Boss? Hey, Doug, look, it's me, your old pal! Gallimoth is the name of the... the boss. I don't know if I can get down there, because for as many broken things as I have, I, I'm missing other vital items. What's my luck stat at the moment? My luck is now 18 plus 20. I think that's as high as it can go. So I, I can't just, like, infinite luck my way through this. Which, this is already an infinite luck run. To be honest. Still a lot of stuff I can't do. Like, ride a motorcycle. I like that the bats have little halos. Because they're, they're good bats. Remember that. Ah, Avicar, what the fuck?! Why do you have an army of bats?! These are my friends. Are they all like vampires? Yes, they got stuck in bat form. Vinny, did you see the guy in chat talking about how he's watching your stream while his baby is being born? I mean, anyone could just say that. If that's true, I don't know if I should be disappointed. Like, watch your child being born. This isn't... 
Your baby needs you. But I mean, you know, I'm... If the stream is helpful in some way... Uh, push! 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 Your child's name is now Scoot. You missed some secret spots. I missed so much. But this run is... is... is ridiculous. Like, I'm not even sure I want to continue the run. Could have the glasses, so oh, that's true. Yeah, I mean, the glasses could be anywhere. The thing about these randomizer streams is usually they end up with you having to do most of the stuff anyway. Or even more stuff. Due to the, uh, backtracking. He had no idea what he was in for. Imagine this. You're part of Dracula's elite guard. You're in a full set of plate mail. You're cursed with unholy energy, and you have two massive swords. And then some twat with an army of bats comes fucking screaming at you from the distance. The bats... peck at your blood, at your bones, at your flesh, until you just die. You're just overwhelmed by bats. But anyway, I'm gonna stop streaming this in a couple minutes. I may do a second stream of it. Um... It's beyond ridiculous. I know some people are very okay with that. I mean, the further along I get in the game, the less my advantages of cheese will, uh... Well, actually, that's not true. I have a duplicator. Never mind. Imagine you're one of Dracula's elite owl guards. And you raised this owl from the time of birth. This owl was your friend, was your baby. And then some twat with an army of bats. Well, you get the rest. Vinny, what do you think about Greta Van Fleet? Huh! No way, Jack, we're not having that discussion again. The answer is I don't. Come from the land of the ice and snow, from the hot wings blow! What was that? Did you say the hot wings blow? What do they blow? Out my asshole! I'm not funny. I know I'm not funny. I can pretend I'm funny for a couple minutes, and then the illusion falls apart. Vinny, you have pizza. Why are you not healing with that? So this game takes place in 17-something-something, right? Pizza, huh? When was pizza invented, everybody? Do we have, um... Do we have an exact date? Like, do we... As historians, early 1900s. Now, if I'm not mistaken, pizza was invented because it was a way to... It was cheap. It was a way to feed people... Like, kind of cheap. 1889 it was invented. Pizza transcends... Earnings. It transcends, um... Your class. It, it transcends... How much money you have. It doesn't matter. It's- it's the Great Equalizer. Pizza is universal. Okay. So, Symphony of the Night. Zero challenge run. Double rune swords. Top 10 console boot up sounds. That would probably be maybe my favorite one. I mean, I love the GameCube one, too. But that one, I think, is the best one of all time. I don't- I think the PS2 one's good, too, but... I don't know. I don't know, I like that one better. You know, even though this run is totally broken, we still get... some of the best video game music. It's more a celebration of that than anything else. So, for those that are new to this, uh, everything was randomized, um... Which is why I ended up getting a duplicator and some of the most broken shit in the game. I need a couple more runes, I need to, um... ...get to Shaft. But yeah, uh, enemies aren't ran- I, I think this randomizer is cool, could use a little bit more work. But, uh, I think it's still being actively worked on, so it's a new randomizer. And... The idea being, like, you can randomize, en um, the items that enemies drop, which is why I have rune swords. You can randomize, um... Just the positions of any other random shit. So, like, you know, essential key items are randomized as well. <laughs> I 
Hang on. Oh, fucking, what is it? It's, um... I like how chat immediately knew what I was trying to do just by the, the weird, like, dance moves that Alucard was getting down with. For anyone who missed the previous stream I did of this, I should probably show you um, just how broken this run has become. For example, say, say I'm hungry. Well, I have all this. You may be wondering, how do I have all this? I have a duplicator. Randomly found a fucking duplicator. I also have, um, an item that can destroy everything on the screen. So I just don't need to do anything ever again. No shield rod, but I have a shield. Oh yeah, I have bats too. Monster vial. Where is the monster vial? Where is that son of a bitch? Where is that son of a bitch? There's no auto sort, is there? Man, my Matthew McConaughey got real scummy over the years. There is an auto auto sort. What auto? Long Island. There's an auto sort. Hello, card. You tried to invade this castle with bats. Square on the category selection. There. There. Thanks. So this is where Shaft is. Shaft is down there. Goggles. That's all I need, right? Like, I don't really even... I can defeat Shaft now, yes? Or I need glasses. Wait, they're not the holy glasses. You need the holy... You needed the holy glasses. Shit. I thought it was goggles. Inverted castle has Shaft. Yeah, but you can fight... Instead of Richter, you fight a ball. Attack the orb over Richter when you've got the goggles on. How do I get down here? I don't remember that either. You need gold plus silver rings to get them. Gotcha. There's a switch for this. I don't remember that. Switch behind the blue door. I still can't open blue doors. The randomizer is kicking my ass right now. I'm broken, but I can't open doors. I don't... Yeah, I think there's some... Uh, there's some logic to prevent soft locks. Explore the Colosseum of Orlocks. I will try to do that. Um, the shop in the library? No, I don't think the jewel was in there. So yeah, I need to be missed for this door, and I don't have missed yet. I have missed things, but not missed. So this is a long-ass trip for no fucking reason. I don't even know how to get to Orlocks at the moment. Vinny, you have Gas Cloud? Well, I do, but I, I can't... It won't let me press the button. Gas is mist. You need form of mists. Gas cloud's an upgrade. Right, right, right. In the clock tower room, every other minute, the left statue moves. I just did that. There's a secret in the empty room. Alright, let's do that. I remember that. You have to hold down, I think. Right? Or you just wait? Get down there. G-Force Driver is now available. Ramen and Dim Sum. So people are just calling it the Weeb Room. Come on, chat. I was hoping there would be a relic down there. Go back to the clock room for Orlocks and keep jumping. Really? Vinny, you skipped the door. Oh, is that what I missed over there? God damn it. I should know these things by now. I really should. I really, I did consider not finishing this. But again, considering that Symphony isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, hardest game ever. I just said, fuck it. Let me play it. Let me just enjoy what... Let me enjoy what the game is. I'll enjoy the music, the art, the locations, and then I'll also enjoy getting lost and trying to find an item for four hours. Someone said, you can laugh, you can cry. Whatever you do, don't hurt each other. Tommy um, is, is doing another tour of the room. I can't believe I missed that door. He's bringing it to New York City. I considered going, 
but I've already seen the room a thousand times, and I've already met Tommy, and I've been at a screening, and it's like, well, I don't really want to go any- I don't really want to go again! Someone said that if you use two rune swords, there's a special attack, two at the same time. Nope. Someone in chat said, watch room, it's funny, Ma movie I make on purpose is funny on purpose. Vinny, I remember you saying that Tommy was very wet when you met him. He was. He was just... He was dripping. I assumed at first it was sweat, but now I'm convinced it was, um... It was just his essence melting. Like, you know how, um... If you have, like, a soda on a hot day, it draws moist to it because of condensation? Tommy is a soda. What did he smell like? I don't remember. I don't think it was unpleasant. I would have noted unpleasantness, but I think Tommy probably... He, you know, he, he, he smelled... M maybe... If someone has the... Video of me talking about that experience... I went into more detail about it. But it wasn't unpleasant. Is what I'm trying to say. You want gyro? Warlocks, you want gyro? Throwing plates of food in the middle of a fight. I know, I love it. I love that I can just throw around free gyros at any moment. With- <laughs> with no consequence. Giros. You like it, the juice, eh? That wolf looks terrible. Always has, always will. That's why the Symphony of the Night engine that this one person's making on, um, on PC. There's a complete wolf redesign. It looks- it looks great. I just- somehow... Just memory... Activated. And a good fucking thing, too, because I found a vital, essential item in there. There's a Pokémon Direct happening soon. Which I will not be streaming because it's at 9 a.m. I don't know why Nintendo continues to insist that 9 a.m. is a great time for a Nintendo Direct. It's June 5th, so it's before E3, which, what are you doing, Nintendo? Oh, Japan, yeah. Someone said, imagine living on a globe. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about, man. It was globe stuff. I mean, the Weather Channel has been perpetuating this for years, man. Think about what they have to gain. But yeah, no, I won't be streaming at 9 a.m. I'm in bed, like, three or four hours before that. But you knew that. I mean, that's why I'm up now. So what instead I will do is... The day of Pokemon Direct, I will... Probably not look at it, or I will look at it and then just talk about it on stream. That's all. Have you talked about Death Stranding tonight? Uh, not yet, no. I don't know what's going on with Death Stranding. Potential release date on the 29th. You mean release date reveal on the 29th. Get ready. For ridiculous music. This is one of those songs that had to grow on me for a bit. When I first played the game, I was like, what is this weird music? And then it became one of my top, like, songs in the whole soundtrack. I haven't hit a save point up in a long time. I'm a little worried. Let's just- let's just not do the boss. Let's just not do the boss right now. God damn it! I mean, this is good, I want the save point, but god damn it, I want to listen to the music! I remember there being a good item at the end of this hallway. Now it's probably gonna be a fork bun. Zircon. Someone said, I didn't realize how many enemies from this game were ripped straight into Order of Ecclesia. See now, I'm gonna stream Order of Ecclesia at some point. I don't remember. I don't remember what that was like. Ring of Tales. Ring with holy powers. I remember this being pretty good, I guess. Alright, I'll just leave it on. 
But they, yeah, there's always been reused sprites. It's homage. It's it's homlets. And they, they just upgrade the animations a bit sometimes, and, and sometimes not even. Like how they incorporate like spooky Castlevania music into even the songs that don't sound like Castlevania music. It's like when the James Bond theme comes up. Or Mission Impossible. You can just fit it into anything. There's a breakable ceiling block uh, that I need to find. Vinny, are you going to watch Rocket Man? Man, I didn't even see the Freddie Mercury movie. Unless William Shatner plays Elton John, I don't want to have anything to do with it. I'm a Rocket Man. What about the movie Yesterday? That seems interesting. The concept for the movie is cool. It's, uh, someone exists in a world where the Beatles never happened, but he remembers all the Beatles songs, so he remembers them and writes them and releases them and becomes famous <laughs> off of them. Who are you? Who are Open you? Open Hell's Gate! Come forth, my servants! The scent of your blood. You're a Belmont. Crush this flea who invades my castle! <laughs> I'm certain that was a Belmont. So he says he's the lord of this castle. Now I have Fast Wolf. Still don't have the ability to go through blue doors. Check underneath Dracula's keep or treasure. Treasure. <coughs> Top left of the church tower with mist. You can do that with mist? I thought you needed the walk armor. I'm good. I had allergies, believe it or not. I don't know why people wouldn't believe that. But yeah, I had some... Today was a day I noticed my allergies happen. Have you checked under the merchant's chair? Vinny, no, you need the spike mail. Yeah, you need the spike mail for that. That's what I'm saying. On the second screen... In the alchemy lab, there is a ceiling hole that has a relic. Gnome squishy fart, please. No. Vinny, any cool shit happening for you this upcoming June? Well, there's a cool game that I can't talk about. That, I, I, for some reason, I can't talk about. I don't know why I can't talk about it. It's kind of ridiculous. But there's a cool game that's happening that um, I'm going to play, for one. It's nothing even crazy. Uh, I have uh, too many games that I'm going to, which is a convention you can come to as well. Google it. And that's that's about it. Oh, an E3. Okay, so um, Alchemy Lab. There's a ceiling. Oh, I see it. Okay. You can now do the Wolf Form special room near entrance. Right, I remember that. I don't remember exactly how to do it, but... I remember it. The fuck? What are they incubating in here? This is turkey mode? Go back to the room you fought the boss in. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. It's a lot of backtracking in random mode. I mean, the, the actual game has some pretty extensive backtracking too, but... There's also, yeah, there's the room where I have to use the wolf, the bat, and the mist, I think. I love it when Alucard's, like, incredulous about the things that are happening. What? Like, he can't believe that he would get poisoned. Him, Alucard, Tepesh, Teepees, Adrian, what's his full name? It's Adrian Von Tepesh? Fahrenheit, Adrian Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit's... it's... Oh. 
You know, the floor is breakable in the room you just were in. In the vertical halls. This better be the god item. I even gotta switch my goddamn weapon. This game wants me to do things. What happened to my free ride, man? Alright, I'll do what I have to do. I'll use dynamite. Dark armor! Perhaps one can use the dark armor, too. God damn it. The duplicator is lowering your stats? With it on? Really? That's something that's been happening this whole time? My stats have been lowered because of it? What? <clears throat> it's worth duplicating gyros, though. Speaking of, I know what I'm getting for lunch tomorrow. Thanks, chat. Sword card. Okay, well, this is good for meme potential. Slice! Low-level sword can barely hit anything. Low-level sword doesn't have eyes. Actually, all sword doesn't have eyes. There it is. I want to find that voice actor. The one who went slice! I want to interview them. Alright, um, so I did everything in there. Then there's the secret room. And I don't know where else to fucking check. The relic above the castle entrance. I thought I did, guess maybe I didn't. Castle keep, top left side below the throne room has a relic. Top right of clock tower, okay. I'm gonna go this way and teleport there, so, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Once I get the blue relic, a lot of areas open up, and then I just need the gold and silver ring, and then I just need a bunch of other things, and, and then I can die. In the clock room, if you have the clock special item, you can open the top right room. Um, I need the cube of Zoe in order to open that room. Anyway, I'd like to tell you a poem I just wrote from waiting in that room, hearing the clock. Here's a poem. Taking away the moments that make up a dull day. You fritter and waste the hours in an offhand way. Kicking around on a piece of ground in your hometown, waiting for something or someone to tell you you smell. A poem! The lad fancies himself a poet! Um... Bizhawk, to answer a question in chat that I won't read the question out loud. Because, uh... Bad. Just saying random words put together. Bizhawk, that's all. So does anyone want to go halfsies with me to get me the David Gilmore guitar? That he's selling the Black Strat. That's $150,000 at an auction that a millionaire is probably going to buy for a million dollars. Someone said, don't be materialistic, Vin. Well, we'll go halfsies. I, I want to mortgage my house real quick and then I'll... No? Vinny library relic. Okay, we can do the library relic. Do I even have a library card? Yeah, I do. Thank you! What can I do for you? I'm interested in this. Farewell for now! The Vorpal... Dual Vorpal? Really? Yeah, alright. What can I do for you? This has nothing to do with I'm any kind of relics. But I have some... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Well, the Vorpal is, um, like a chrysogram, or however the fuck you say that, but not quite as good. Uh, am I going to a dead end? Oh, yeah! Where am I going? Eating the peen. Uh, this is an original. How many of these do I need to do again? Good enough. I mean, yeah, there, there I would have gotten an item, but I'm I'm looking for um, relics, not items. There was one more thing, yeah. That, there's three things you can get. Watch. In order to complete this run, I'm gonna have to go back and do that again. I can fucking see it now. Now, my memory of earlier when I was playing Half-Life, being in the doctor's office for some reason, I don't know what the hell that memory was. But this for sure, I remember being really sick. I was home from school for a couple weeks when I got this game. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe it was strep throat. Vinny, have you watched that show Barry on HBO? I watched the first episode. I liked it. Vinny, you said it was the flu a couple of years ago? A couple of years ago, Vinny probably knows best because it was closer to when I had the flu. But it, it, yeah, it probably was. I don't know. Someone said, how the fuck would you remember that? Well, that's the thing, I don't... I mean, maybe it was the flu. I just remember being sick. Because I played a lot of this while I was sick. And it was good because I was home from school. I was like, oh, this is awesome. But I feel like shit. But I have Castlevania, so it doesn't matter. Um... Okay, thank god. It's about to, uh, lose my shit. Fuck this. What is, what is this relic? Displays enemy names. There's exactly one place left you can check. Alright, hit me with it. I think I can just use the library card. Spot under Drax room. Using the library card in the library takes you to the library. Here's another weird association. This game makes me want to watch Young Frankenstein. Yeah, I mean, there's, they're in the same realm, I guess. The same ballpark. But, yeah. Schrankenstein. Oh, here it is. I almost didn't make it. Ran out of magic. The Jewel of Open! The last possible location. I guess I'm mostly looking for the gold and silver ring. You can hit the catacombs too, yeah. Vinny, do you still remember that Staten Island Conference House video you made with this music? Yeah, it's probably on YouTube somewhere. I did a spooky house. Uh, I had to edit a spooky house video and I used that music. Two songs from this game, actually. It makes for good spooky house music. The gold and silver rings are in the same locations they normally are. Okay. Oh yeah, now you get the names of the enemies. So you can see the Luigi table. That's right. A map randomizer for this would be cool. Or, or an arcade mode, like Super Metroid Arcade. You need Spike Breaker to get the silver ring. How about the gold ring? Don't remember that one. Catacombs? Is there a Chrono Trigger randomizer? <laughs> I think there is. <laughs> Um, gold ring is the succubus, right? Okay. How about the drums? Here. They sound so shitty, like they're being piped through an amp. But it just works for the song so well. Sounds like it's coming from a bar. Yeah, like you're in the, the next room over. Denny, are you ever gonna stream Chrono Cross? Son. I have. Will I ever stream Chrono Cross again, is the question. And I'm thinking about that dragon quest, where you have to destroy six dragon gods. And my answer is... Probably not. I think the stream I did of it is good enough. That'll- that'll stand the test of time. 
maybe when I'm in my 40s. It's it's also a game that like you need a PhD to decipher. So it is a great game in many ways, but it doesn't. I don't know. It just doesn't have the same thing that Chrono Trigger has. Still, still though, I mean, there's so much to like about it, but it gets a little tedious. I say, trying to climb a shaft. Drat, be afraid. That's right, the birth of be afraid. Vinny, do you think you'd have given it the time of day if it didn't have the word Chrono in the title? I don't know. Maybe it's not the longest game, so you can get through it and still get something out of it without having to spend 80 hours or so. Isn't it 60 hours? No. <coughs> it's about 30. 25, 30. Shortest ending is like two hours. I thought it was shorter than Final Mother. Fantasy VII. Oh, anyway, here it is. That voice! Alucard, it's you! I'm coming, Mother! I'll save you! No, Alucard! Don't come here! But, Mother! It's all right. If my death can save others, I gladly surrender my life. Mother, no! Please, no! Yes, Alucard. Watch me die and remember always my last words to you. Yes, Mother. You must despise humans. They are to be your prey. What? Better for them to die than to let them compound their sins. Begin by slaying that one over there. Good advice. No, it wasn't like this. What's wrong? Alucard. My mother never said such a thing. What do you mean? Kill them and bring them happiness. No, you're not my mother. What kind of demon are you? Demon. <laughs> you broke free of my spell. I like that. <laughs> Demon, death is too good for you. Come here, little boy, and show me <laughs> what you've got. Yep. Darkling, I smell your blood. You're a vampire? Could it be? That strength, that beauty. You're the son of Lord Dracula. How could you not know that? You just role-played as his mother. Will set your soul wandering for eternity, demon. Wait! I beg of you! Ah! <laughs> the voice acting is phenomenal. It really is. So she didn't know he was Dracula's son, even though she was role-playing as his mother, and clearly knew enough about him to get the details correct. You would think that the biggest detail was who she was married to. Anyway, um, so if you haven't seen the Castlevania TV show, it's that. Same quality voice acting and everything. It's kind of amazing how other versions of this game that don't have the shitty voice acting lose something. Like, I won't play a version of this game that has different voice acting and a different script. I, I just, I won't. I just won't. Vinny, please say you're kidding before people actually believe you. While well, people believe everything. Who's people? Some people. Couple people. But no, um, the plot of the Castlevania TV show does cover... Alucard's mother. It does cover how it went down. It covers why Dracula went crazy. Well, crazy, but well, hateful. Why he reverted back to his hateful self. And then the quest of Alucard and Trevor Belmont and Sypha to destroy Dracula. And it's great. It's genuinely a fucking great show if you haven't watched it. I loved it. I heard some some people had some shit to talk about it. Fair enough. I disagree. I enjoyed it. It's the plot from Castlevania 3, right? Hey, you wanna go across?
across the river? I you to meet your destiny. Yeah, the pacing of the show is really weird. It has its own strange rhythm. Oh, I still don't have the, um... The thing that allows me to walk underwater without taking damage. I do, however, have infinite healing, so... Vinny, you have the merman ring? Oh, I actually have to wear that fucking thing? It's not a ring, it's a relic. It's a- it should be already on. Someone said, but Vinny, have you ever been to a vampire orgy? We drank the blood of some people. I thought it was a good episode. For me, the mid-season episodes are just next level. There's a couple episodes in the middle there with the Baron and the, and the guests. And that whole Baron plotline... ...was just so fucking perfect. Finny, are vampires scary? No, I don't find them scary. The only time I was scared of vampires was... <laughs> And I'm gonna get some shit for this, was Interview with a Vampire. I saw it when I was like nine. It was at that moment that vampires were maybe scary. Because even like Dracula and Nosferatu... Well, Nosferatu just looked creepy as fuck. And that, that was a creepy movie. I just don't remember it. So no, vampires never really did. The, my favorite vampire of all time, aside from Alucard, who's half vampire, so it doesn't really count, but... ...is Cassidy from Preacher. Who? Preacher is... is a comic that was adapted for a TV show. And the TV show is pretty good, actually. It's not bad. It's <clears throat> not a 100% faithful adaptation, but it does what it, ha it does, and it's pretty good. But the comic is just amazing. It's my favorite comic, Preacher. There's actually a couple of improvements from the, the show, the comic to the show. Just a couple. But mostly the comics are just amazing. Anyway, Cassidy... Yeah, he's a- he's an Irish vampire. And he does a lot of drugs. He drank the blood of some people. And he's really funny, but he's also kind of terrifying sometimes. He's just got a really great storyline. And also the... It's funny because Preacher is kind of a joke comic. Not entirely. It, do, it does take itself seriously when it needs to. But there's a lot of comedy. There's a lot of satire. It's from the uh, mid-90s. Garth Ennis wrote it. But it is a really, really funny book. Comic book. But the story of Cassidy becoming a vampire, the way they cover it, the way they handle it, it you really actually feel for him. And... You gotta imagine how much the vampire thing sucks. To the point where, you know, nothing's fun anymore. So it's weird how, for me, the best portrayal of a vampire and the shittiness of what that life must be like comes from a comedy comic book. Vinny, how do you feel about the show only getting one more season that I'll have to cram everything left into it? Wait, is that confirmed? The Preacher TV show only has one season left? What? They barely covered the rest of it. I guess the show didn't... Well, that sucks. Uh, I guess the show didn't do well enough to give them, like, eight seasons. So, there were, like, um... Seth Rogen confirmed it. They will definitely be ending it. God damn it. So, what, what did they do? Two or three seasons? and they only covered maybe less than 50% of the material. Vinny, better to give the writers a finite end than to extend it beyond its char or <clears throat> charm or humor. What, you mean Walking Dead? The thing about it is, I'm okay with them ending it after, you know, a couple seasons, but there's a lot more that they need to do to get close to where that comic was. They, they have to set up character arcs that could last more than one season, in my opinion. Yeah, they did hit the high notes, and then there's a couple more that they could hit. But that's a shame. I, I really like that show. I, I was hoping for at least another two or three seasons. Someone said Walking Dead never had charm or humor, though. The thing about Walking Dead is that season one was good. Six episodes, written and directed by Frank Darabont. Good stuff. And then they got rid of Frank Darabont. And it got way worse. 
it had its like I watched up until we've talked about this movie, this movie, this TV show several times on the stream, and uh, I don't really feel like going back into the whole thing. I still can't get that. Now I can. Sword, do not kill. But um, you know, there's some good things in in the subsequent seasons, like the prison stuff worked out pretty good. They covered, they got close enough to the comics that I I thought there were moments of good of goodness up until like season five, where and that's where I stopped watching because it just got it got painful. Okay, so here is a thing. I'm gonna save the game and and uh, I'm gonna get going in a minute because we're about ready. I'm about ready. To I'm get... ready to serve, master. Oh my god. Hmm, a switch. Why don't I press it and see? <laughs> oh, it just tickles me every time. Boy, these secrets are a lot less rewarding when it's random. Mablung. Ankh of life. Fire shield. Fire mail. Opal heart. Hmm. A sw a switch. Then you have a question, where did Harrison Ford under the floorboards come from? <sighs> There's just too much explanation. I think I just take a little bit too much time to explain fully. Heart of Vlad. That's good. So, so here's what it is. I, I just type Crystalia Eminem in YouTube and listen to his Eminem rap. On hard on the floorboards. I don't even think he said exactly that, right? He he wasn't talking about floorboards. Was that my invention? My bastardization of it? So what's the actual what's the actual fucking line then? Of course I'm on torrent. I'm driving a Porsche over the floorboards, over the four points, while you're in the four tours, getting an abortion and a divorce at the same time to hear the Ford and yeah, that has nothing to do with Harrison Ford under the floorboards. He's not under there. Porn. I'm driving a Porsche over the floorboards over the... He's driving a Porsche over the floorboards. While he's getting an abortion. Four points. While you're in the four tours, getting an abortion and a divorce. And a divorce to Harrison Ford. Same time to hear the Ford and... Ha sorry, Harrison Forden. Okay. Just checking. So yeah, not even the same actor. Different dude entirely. Yeah, I like I like Harrison Ford under the floorboards. He's in there. He's under there. He's looking for you. He's looking at you. Well, the good news is we're making progress. I might even be able to finish this entirely if I uh, do one more stream of it because I need to find. I mean, if I get lucky, I have two relics left to find, and um, I gotta get the the spiky breaker, and then I can get the ring, and then I can go to the inverted castle. So, I mean, you know, it's... It's just a matter of getting the rest of Vlad. I already have three Vlad. So I need two other Vlad. Yeah, it's his Horcruxes. Has Vinny really never gotten a cape yet? I guess not. I guess not. Alright. Well, we're getting there. It's good. It's fun. I'm enjoying it. I'm glad that I'm playing uh, a Symphony again. Even if it is randomized and piss easy. What about Bloodstained coming out soon after playing this? That's cool. I mean, this is a randomizer run. It's ridiculous. There's... There's no challenge whatsoever. Except it's a scavenger hunt for items. Um, people are saying that the Death Stranding Collector's Edition comes with an actual fetus. Not like a real one, but like a... Like a replica fetus. Could you imagine, though, it came with a real fetus? That would be a Kojima thing. I didn't say it had to be a human fetus. Maybe like a frog? Oh, that's a tadpole. I always like this room. This is a weird room in this game. Um, I got Joseph's cloak, my first cloak. You can select your own color. Blood red. Looks cool. Wizard hat. We drank the blood of some people! Yeah, in some ways this is training for, uh, Bloodstained. Which comes out 
relatively soon. So I'm just waiting for it. What platform am I going to play it on? Um, it depends. If I find out the Switch version is AES, I won't be playing it on the Switch. It'll be PC if the Switch version is AES. Switch version comes out a week later. Oh. Vinny, are you getting it early? I don't know. I don't know if I am. Switch version is 30 frames a second. I will be playing the PC version, everybody. I'd like to confirm my plans as they have been all along. Well, if the PC version comes out a week earlier, then of course, I'm gonna want that one. Again, I'd, I'd play the Switch version if, um, if I needed it on, on the go or whatever, but I think I'm pretty content with playing the PC version a week earlier with 60 frames a second. That sounds fine. Army of Mermen versus Army of Dead Body. Vinny, I've never played as Alucard supposed to be grunting so much. He he is. Well, kind of. I mean, it's the weapon I'm using. Not every weapon has the same level of Alucard grunt. So, this weapon, I'm just, like, mashing the button. Familiar use only. Oh. Anyway, this devil lad has, has definitely done done his job. So let's, let's go back to the sword card, because the sword says the cool stuff. SLICE! Someone in chat said, why does this music sound like future sex music? They know how to party in Castlevania. We have the vampire orgy in the Castlevania. It's the uh, season finale tonight. It already aired. I haven't watched it, though. It's uh, of what we do in the Shadows TV show. And um, I'm upset that it's finally coming to an end so quickly. I hope they get a season two, but considering, you know, like only 20 people are watching it, I don't know if that's going to happen. I think th there's probably a lot more people watching it than I um, than I would think. And yes, I did get just I just got sushi. I could have made a Blade Runner reference, but chat did it for me. Vinny, are randomizers more fun than they are frustrating? Depends on the randomizer. This one? Needs some work. I like that I can experience the game in a different way. I like that, um, like for Link to the Past randomized, for example. <laughs> I like that I don't know what's gonna happen, what items I'm gonna get. Um, there's a lot of good ones, but then there are ones that are just kind of bare bones like this. Which is understandable, it's still early in development. So yeah, I think randomizers are pretty frustrating and fun. Like, you cannot deny that the Zelda 2 randomizer, which I've streamed twice now, is a goddamn nightmare. Ten arrows, one rupee. That's the most frustrating parts, but still not... Still not as frustrating as me getting lost in Zelda 2, because the, um... The level generation keeps making no sense whatsoever. So I think I need the silver ring. Or I have the gold ring and I need the silver ring. Right? Something like that. And I'm also looking for relics. I need two more relics, and then I can defeat Upside Down Dracula. And the priest they call Shaft. Vinny, did you hear about Iron Maiden suing the makers of the game Ion Maiden? That's not real. That can't be real. It is? They didn't invent the fucking term Iron Maiden. And it's not even the same. Fuck off. Badasses for the people. We're Iron Maiden the band. Oh, we also sue games that have a name kind of similar to ours that we didn't invent. Congratulations, Iron Maiden. You played yourself. That's gonna... How could they possibly win that? That's just gonna waste money. And then they're gonna get the, you know... They're gonna lose. Because I, I refuse to believe that a judge is going to be like, Yeah, you're right. I mean, yeah. Yeah. This video game that has nothing to do with your band absolutely owes you money. Yeah. That's my judge voice. Yeah. And I like that game, too. And now it's going to delay the release of the game, apparently. All is possible. Yeah, I know. All is possible. It could... It could go either way. Vinny, did you hear that Kojumbo is suing Kojima? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, how dare Kojima be born with a name similar to Genius Kojumbo's name? 
It would have been like really cool if they did this reveal trailer for Death Stranding today. Like um, the launch trailer. No! Oh no! No! I had no. Trying to rewind. If I can, I think the button works. I don't know. I'm trying to rewind. No, it's not working, is it? <sighs> that was like the rune sword moment all over again. Not as painful, but still pretty fucking painful. No, for those that don't know what happened, I used the teleport back to the library. For those that just joined, someone is questioning why that was so bad, but... I... Yeah, I just lost... I just lost time, that's all. Vinny, are you going to tune into the Call of Duty reveal tomorrow? <laughs> Are you- didn't we just get one? Didn't we just get a Call of Duty? B-Dub's not gonna be home. The, the card is unequipped. V-Dub is nowhere to be seen. It's a reboot of Modern Warfare, apparently. Oh boy. Back to the Middle East. I just got another Vorpal Blade. You know, if another Vorpal Blade, <laughs> bats drop the Vorpal Blade. <laughs> I have four Vorpal Blades. If they wanted to do something truly innovative with Call of Duty, they would make an announcement saying, we're taking this year off to work on the best installment of this series yet. We'll see you in 2020 with a new Call of Duty game from the best people we have. But they need money! He's all loving, all knowing, all forgiving, but he needs money! Didn't so, they lay off thousands of people? Richter? Richter? I don't know if he's the one you're looking for, but I found a Belmont. Really? So he is here? But the one I saw was the enemy. He was the lord of this castle. That can't be true! You're wrong! I, I I must go now. Okay. That's a cool interaction that we just had there. Oh no, do we do we get risened? Did we do we get risened? Or we the risening is happening again? I think we might be we we're, we're rising. I don't know what happened. I just dropped two thousand frames. My down speed is is perfect, no problem, and my up speed is okay. I don't know what happened. That might have been not on my end. Last night the Ryzen was was terrible, but that might have been because of a, a supposed tornado. My up speed is also flawless at the moment, so we we just Ryzen a little bit. Um, I hope that doesn't happen again. You talked bad about Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Twitch. Um, Activision, whoever's listening, I love Call of Duty. You know what? Why don't you send me a copy and I'll have my friend V-Dub play it. Why don't you just go ahead and send me one? I'll get that wacky bastard right on it. He loves that shit. Again, the thing about Call of Duty is I actually don't hate the series as much as some people do. Because it's, in some ways, you know, when it's good, it's, it's pretty fun. I just don't. I, I played that, um, the multiplayer and Battle Royale a little bit for their previous one. And, um, it, it wasn't the worst thing I've ever played. It was pretty alright. I enjoyed it. I didn't play a ton of it, but I didn't hate it. Would I have purchased it with mine own money, however? That's gonna be a no for me, dog. And now the Ryzen. Me saying that, the Ryzen. Vinny, be honest, you know it's recycled, low-effort poop. Mean to make money, nothing more. Huh? I didn't say it wasn't. I just said that it was- it was a fun shooter. Wow, even me calling Call of Duty a fun shooter is a hot take. But, the last time I played a Call of Duty game, like, a lot, was Modern Warfare 2. You all know this. I did play Call of Duty World War 2. 
because I, I like um, the World War II games of the past, and it was cheesy and stupid, but I had some fun with it because the weapons felt good and were cool. But, I mean, ultimately, I feel like that series is past its prime, and it really could use a year or two off. So whatever they reveal tomorrow, whatever it is that they reveal tomorrow, I'm Vine Risened. I likely won't be interested. Yeah, this is some really good risening tonight. Maybe if I don't talk about Call of Duty anymore, my internet will stay stable. Well, I can only hope for the best. Sorry if the risening happens. It's not on my end. My my internet has been um I'm you know, the speed tests are all good. Everything's okay. As far as I'm aware. But yeah, no more Call of Duty discussion. All I said before was... Let's see if this actually bricks the stream. All I said before was, whatever they end up revealing tomorrow, there's a very high probability that I'm not going to be into it. Stream? Stream is dead? Nope, stream is okay. Twitch is recording blackouts? Oh, so it is Twitch then. They fixed potential server issues, but streamers may want to restart to fix any residual problems. If uh, the stream goes down again, I'll restart, yeah. Alucard? That voice, Maria? I'm sorry, you were right. He has joined forces with the enemy. So it was a Belmont after all. But someone must be controlling him. Whatever we do, we can't harm Richter. Richter. But he must be stopped. I know. Well, here. Take these with you. What are these? <laughs> if you wear these, you can see beyond evil illusions. Thank you. Tis best then if you pray for the soul of your friend. These appear to be holy glasses. Tis best then if you uh, pray for Mega Man. It's weird how the, the dialogue in this game kind of sticks to... I mean... It doesn't get too old-timey, but then every now and then, Alucard drops a tiz. Someone named Trash Pie just said, as a resident Staten Islander, how did you feel about the tornado warnings last night? So first of all, I like that your name is Trash Pie, and you're from Staten Island. That's perfect. That's very appropriate. And I guess my reaction to the, the tornadoes was like, I was driving on the Verrazano while it was happening, just after. So it wasn't so bad on the bridge, but it was really bad on the BQE just before then. Um, there were... there was hail. There was a lot of lightning. It was really, um, coming down hard, but I didn't see no tornado. It didn't quite hit. Like, it kind of went more out to sea, I think. How big was the hail? Clown fetus? Vinny, you need to get the essences to fix the seasons, quick. I'm so happy they implemented the feature where you can choose where you teleport in future games of the series. It's like very obvious quality of life things that just weren't thought of. Okay, so now, um, here's the game plan. I need two more relics, and so we're gonna kill Shaft, or we're going to fight the ball, and then we are going to find the relics and become a wizard. Speaking of balls, uh, Macaulay Culkin's podcast, Bunny Ears, he had uh, Red Letter Media on. Very good podcast. They talked about ghosts and aliens for most of it. Ten out of ten. So, high recommendations. It was actually really good. I've been waiting for you. Yo. Answer me. Why is a Belmont planning the resurrection of Count Dracula? Count Dracula rises but once every century, and my role is over. If I can resurrect him... Then the battle will last for eternity! If those are your true feelings, then so be it. I, I love that. So you'll notice uh, the ball up there. I'm not supposed to kill Richter. So I killed the ball of Shaft. You've defeated me, but all is not yet lost. The resurrection of Count Dracula is at hand. <laughs> No, not yet. Not yet. It's not... no.
these graphics are very real. No. What have I done? Thank you, Alucard, for saving Richter. Alucard? The same Alucard who fought alongside my ancestor, Trevor Belmont? That was over 300 years ago. Yeah, he's a vampire, dipshit. You know no that. No time for small talk. Is the person who controlled you in that castle over there? Yes, I think so. Maria, take Richter and leave here. I'll finish this. All right. Good luck. I, I mean, I give... There's a story reason for why Richter is dumb, dummy. It's because he was controlled by Shaft for a little while. Most men are controlled by Shaft, if you think about it. Well, the ball of Shaft. Vinny, are you gonna watch the Shaft movie? What a topic. What a topic. Uh, maybe. Not in the theater. The Heaven Sword got way better in future games. I don't think it was all that great in this one. Oh, this one's pretty cool. It's like a less good rune sword. You need two for the Heaven Sword to be good? Oh, okay. Look, everybody, it's the mass. Now I'm really Sephiroth. Dropping again, huh? Okay, I'm back. Uh, that was a restart on purpose. So I got Ryzen a bit, but it was more, I think, just Twitch having problems, and I decided that it would be a good idea. Someone in chat is named Verizon Official Support. Hello, Vine Sauce. Mike from Verizon here. Sorry to hear you've been encountering issues with our service. Would you like to talk about upgrading your plan? Fuck off. My plan is fine. The worst part is I could almost see that being a real employee because they have the bots on Twitter. Sometimes those Vine Ryzen Twitter bots will actually reply to like tweets from two years ago that someone just retweeted or replied to or liked. Hello, we noticed you're having a problem it is me, um, Shacob, from Verizon. How can I help you? Of course, Bab always, always saving the day. Oh, you know what? I got a monster vial. I want to get some skeleton lads. Someone in chat just said that the worst thing about the inverted castle is this fucking song. I don't mind the song, but hearing it throughout the whole castle is awful. If it was one area, and then they did, or maybe like a couple areas, and then they did, um, the other songs. Like, I'm okay with them using Marble Gallery again. They didn't have to use this one song for all of the Inverted Castle. It does add to the character of the Inverted Castle, because it's, it's like, it's annoying, like the Inverted Castle. I guess for anyone that's never played this game, I should explain, yes, the castle is now upside down, obviously. And this was a really fucking cool thing to experience for the first time. Especially if you didn't know it was coming. And you're just playing through the game, you're like, Oh, I'm about to win! And then you somehow now have to do the entire castle. Upside down. With some cool monsters and stuff. So it's- it's cool. It's- it's a good way to increase the length, but it's, um, a little lazy, too. But I'm okay with it, for the most part. It's just not my favorite part of the game. Well, it's- it's not padding. Well, yeah, it is padding, but- oh god, how do I say this? It's padding, but I don't mind the padding because it's upside down. And it's a neat concept. It just gets old after a little while. Lazy, they had to design every level to work upside down. Not really, though. Not really, because... By the time you're in the upside down castle, you have all the movement options. You have Mist, you have Bat, you have Upside Down Jump. You have, um... You know, you can get around. Round, round. You get around. So the work to make it playable was probably there, but I wouldn't say it, it was extensive. But then again, I wasn't there, who the hell knows. Meanwhile, the poor N64 had to get Castlevania 64. Instead of this amazing thing. Vinny, Castlevania Legacy of Darkness was good. I didn't play through all of Legacy of Darkness, but... It was better. I know it was better, but you're still playing Castlevania 64, and you still have to deal with a lot of the annoyance... ...of that game. Uh, 
all these fucking Medusa heads! Ah! Speaking of annoyance, it's, it's pretty fucking heavy annoying right here. See, Medusa heads aren't quite as difficult in this game, or as annoying, because you don't get insta-death, because there's no insta-death spike hits. But, this is where they're most annoying. Okay, I did it, I did it, I did it. And now the reward. Let's see if it was worth it. Oh fuck right off! Fuck right off! Ow! Oh! <sighs> Peanuts, diamond, dynamite. I will now be a piss cloud to mitigate the bullshit. Peanuts, walnuts, pineapple smells. Okay, I'm still just looking for two relics. I gotta hit up all the relic locations, and it's gonna be great. The first two, in fact. I guarantee the first two relic locations are going to be the ones. I guarantee, otherwise I will shut the game off and never play it again, ever. Nah. Nah, I don't want to do that. I like the game too much. Does the CD thing mean anything in those hallways? I don't know what the CD stands for, but if I think about it for more than a couple seconds, my mind immediately goes to Castle Dracula, or Count Dracula, or it's uh, trying to give you a secret message that it's loading the hallway and the next rooms um, from the CD. You see? It's round. There's a CD in there. That's exactly what that is. Wow. 20 years. 20-something years later. It's even a little, like, yeah, it's got, like, a little CD icon and everything. See, I learn something new every time I play this game. It's like Chrono Trigger. Even if I only learn one thing new, it's still a victory. Or it's like Blade Runner. Blade Runner is a movie that you can watch dozens of times and still pick out little details. Because every frame is so dense. Now, that shmoo. I think it's the shmoo. These are the, the Wizard of Oz enemies. But, um... I think it's the shmoo, or some shitty enemy drops the most powerful sword in the game, usually. Oh, it's the dodos? Oh, wait, no, no, the shmoo drops the chrysogram. Which I'm gonna call it the Chrysogram, I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it. And the Dodo drops the Rune Sword. Which I then drop when I get hit by a Nova Skeleton. The answer to is the bay. It's the bay. Alright, the Heaven Sword is pretty awesome. But... I'm gonna be a cheap asshole. Actually, this isn't even the cheapest of an asshole I could be. I could double rune sword it. Vinny, you earned those rune swords. Not really. I mean, two and a half years ago, I earned them. This time, it was just a crusty old skeleton that gave me them. I love the differences between Iga and Kojima. Both worked at Konami. Both spearheaded these amazing franchises. Granted, Iga inherited his, but also did things with it that made it even more popular in some ways for, for some people. And maybe even brought about the golden years of the Castlevania franchise for some. I mean, there's the original games and then there's the Igavanias, but both have a game coming out this year. And one is, like, kind of a crowd-pleaser. And the other one makes no sense. It's an incoherent, pretentious mess. I don't even mean that as a negative. I'm sure it'll be coherent when I play it. Eventually. Yes! One relic to go, my friends. Vinny, how is it pretentious? Did you read the thing Kojima posted on his Twitter? about building walls, or tearing down walls and building bridges with each other, and... Kojima is not pretentious. 
All right, fair enough. I, I, that's not a hill I want to die on. But why don't we go ahead and throw that word out the window? Because actually, I kind of hate that word anyway. So we'll get rid of pretentious. Incoherent mess. Everyone was okay with incoherent mess. But as soon as I said pretentious, it was game over. Someone said um, in chat, if you want to talk about um, an incoherent, pretentious mess, yeek, Y-I-I-K. Now, I've been hesitant to shit on that game because I haven't played it. I hate the way it looks. But I just discovered today, and so did many other people, that there was some plagiarism involved. So not only all of the other things about Yeek, then there's also plagiarism. Vinny, I demand an explanation. You might have to look that up. It's from a book. Uh, he took lines from his script from a book, and he just changed the words around a little bit. So I saw that today. Someone else just said, Yeek is fine. It's, uh... So wait, after the plagiarism thing, Yeek is fine? That's alright? Alright. Vinny, what the fuck is a Yeek? I don't know, I, I really hate even saying the name of that game. But I haven't played it! So, I can't sit here and be like, oh, that game is terrible, bro. Because I haven't played it. It's supposed to be Y2K. Well, I'm still saying GIF. Anyway, uh, so... That's- that's a different, unrelated thing. Anyway, Kojima. Make no mistake, I just did my impressions of Death Stranding, and somehow... Somehow that game... Even though it doesn't make any sense to me, still, like, a little bit... It makes a little bit of sense. And even if it is pretentious, and I'm not using that word in the most negative way, like, you know, some people just say a thing is pretentious and they have no constructive criticism or no analysis of what the thing is, it's just the word pretentious is just thrown at it. Let's say it is a little pretentious, in the strictest definition of the word. I think I'm okay with that. There's a dude in the game called Die Hardman. I don't know, after today's launch trailer, I'm more excited than I've been for it. Because now it feels like a real game. Um, I'm excited to find out what the fuck is happening and, like, what these story threads are. I want to know why Mads Mikkelsen was in World War One naked. And I want to know why he's also a Doctor Man. It's so... strange. In, in a good way. Um, but as I said when I was uh, showing the trailer off... For some, it may not be a game they ever want to play, but would rather watch a jabroni like me stream it. Like, I, I don't even know. When I when I watched it, I didn't say to myself, Wow, this looks fun. I just said, hey, this looks like it's gonna be batshit crazy and a good time. So that's good enough for me. But, you know, let's see what happens, because... Remember, there, there are times when having complete control over a project... ...can be bad for a project. Ridley Scott is a good example. George Lucas is a good example. At various times in their careers... They've had ultimate, final say, complete control over their creative vision. Without any kind of, like, studio interference. And sometimes it's good, and sometimes it's not so great. As much as the, the producer word is, is a bad word when it comes to, like, art and creativity. And it can be. The studio can ruin movies. And, uh, designed by committee is not exactly the best way to go about making something either. You need a strong artistic vision and driving force, I, I think. Oh, hey, Nova Skeletons. Wanna give me some nice Ajita? But, um, sometimes a studio can help trim a movie down a bit. Sometimes a studio can help uh, a director get out of his, his ass. Get their head out of their ass and say, hey, you know what, maybe we have to think of the audience here, not just you. Maybe we need to lose a couple scenes, maybe we need to, um, t like, do a couple reshoots. Tighten up the graphics on level 4. I mean, it can be useful. It's not always useful, it's mostly harmful, but it has its... It has its utility. Like editors for writers. Yeah, editors serve a similar function. So, I, what I'm trying to say is, I think Kojumbo... I think he's got it in him to create something really compelling and interesting, of course, as he's done before. But let's see what that looks like without any interference from anyone else. Allegedly. Vinny, I find it hilarious that people complain about plagiarism when Disney literally stole all their beloved classics from Grimm's fairy tales. W wait, who are you fighting that war against? Me, or Disney, or the chat, or, or what? 
I think that's more ad- people are saying it's adaptation. I think I agree with that. I mean, isn't Grimm's Fairy Tales public domain? I, I don't love Disney. I have I have very little love for Disney. I don't like their movies very much. I did not grow up watching their their movies, their their cartoons, aside from Aladdin and Lion King. Um, I don't. I'm like slightly uncomfortable with the fact that they're buying everything. I've never been to Disney World, so I'm not exactly into the mouse, let's say. But, um, I don't know. I don't think Yeek stealing things from someone's book is the same as Disney, uh, taking characters from public domain. That's, that's my hot take. That's my uneducated opinion. By the way, post note here from the editor. Most of my opinions are uneducated, so be aware of that before listening to uh, any of my discussions. That's not really a good argument, because it assumes people who criticize Yeek like Disney. Yeah, that was a weird... I mean, I get what you're saying. I don't mean to... ...dismiss it entirely. I get what you're saying, but it, yeah, it's it's not like they're mutually exclusive. Vinny, have anything to say about all those Avatar sequels? I don't know what the fuck kind of drugs Jim Cameron's on at the moment. Yes, we are on a first-name basis, me and Jim. I've never seen Avatar. I didn't see it in 3D. I know people got really, really into that movie when it first came out. In fact, that movie spawned the 3D movie phase for a little while, which has kind of petered out a bit, if you think about it. But I've only... I've heard so many things about that movie saying that, like, the 3D was the gimmick and the movie itself is just okay. And now that people have forgotten about Avatar, not entirely, but, you know, it's not as, like, big of a phenomenon. Do we need five sequels? Like, that's the next ten years of that man's life planned out. James Cameron is, is great. I love his movies. I even love The Abyss. Terminator 2 is great. Terminator 1, obviously, is, is also fucking amazing. Um, Aliens... I don't love Titanic, but I think it's it's a fine movie. But yeah, Jim Jim Cameron, Jim. Um, but he he knows what he's doing. It's not like he's he's um he can be an auteur, but I feel like he he knows how to make the money. But what he did with the Alien series was fantastic, and and Terminator was great. So I I would love to see him do more movies that are not Avatar, is what I'm trying to say. Like, he hasn't really done a lot lately. And I would like to see him do more things that are uh, cool, and not Titanic or Avatar. Apparently he's hell to work with. Kubrick was, too. Ridley Scott was apparently a fucking terror to work with. On uh, a lot of his earlier movies. David Lynch apparently made it a point not to be that. Well, David Lynch is just a wonderful human being who's very weird. But also, he seems like a fun guy to be around. Anubis 2, everybody. The best Nintendo Wii game. Someone in chat just said, Rip that Pharaoh, he was mummy thick. I hate you. Vinny, are you gonna play as Richter? No. No, no, once I'm done with this randomized stream of this game, I'm- I'm good for a while. I'll just wait until Bloodstained. I don't need to do a Richter playthrough. Richter! What about Sphincter Belmont? Okay! Mummy Thick? Sphincter Belmont? I was gone for three minutes. Okay? My internet went down for three- well, my internet didn't go down. Twitch went down for three minutes, and I come back to this? What the fuck did they do to you? What did the Twitch admins do to you while I was gone? My they massacred my boy! So I learned about something called the Divot Box from the Red Letter Media, um, Macaulay Culkin, um, podcast. Where they, uh, they talked about this box... Dip, how do you, what do you say, what is it? Divot? Dibbic? What is it? It's a box. That was, um... <laughs> That was a box that was haunted, <laughs> and the people that lifted it, uh, died, and then Post Malone touched it, and he almost died three times in, like, a week. It's like, what? <laughs> I don't know, just listen to the podcast. I wish I had an extensive knowledge of ghost things like Mike Stoklaza does, because... 
I, I stopped watching ghost shows after the first couple months of me discovering ghost shows. Why would you want that knowledge? So I could talk for hours on end about ghost nonsense while I stream. Name of the podcast? It's, um, it's Bunny Ears is the name of the podcast. It's Macaulay Culkin's podcast, and the most recent episode, he had uh, Rich, Jay, and Mike on. And Jay was just getting more and more annoyed. Or silent, and he just let Mike do the talking, and Rich... And, and Jay was just, just sitting there. Just I could just see him rolling his eyes, shaking his head. May as well have been Star Trek discussion. But I, I learned some stuff. I learned some stuff about Milwaukee. I learned some stuff about ghosts. And even Skosts as well. Do you remember when Geraldo went into Al Capone's safe and he found, like, a condom? No, there wasn't a condom in there. I don't know what the fuck that was. There's Geraldo years ago, years and years and years ago. He made a career of, like, going into, like, tombs and, like, opening safes and, and stuff. And he opened, um, the safe of Al Capone. And they made a big to-do about it, like it was going to be this amazing discovery. And it was just like, um, it was, it was just empty and there was dirt. The first every sorry nothing, yeah. Man, Dracula has a big house. Gee, Jack Dracula, what are you gonna do with 13 rooms? There's that number again. Subconscious 13. And it's way more than 13, it's more like 1300. Just poked myself in the eye. That's impressive. How did I do that? Oof. Oof. Sorry, I have to... Oof. Wow. I really got myself good there. I was, like, scratching my face and it turned into, um, eye damage. Cornea damage. Yeah, now I can Vine Blind for real. Stay safe, Vin. How am I gonna stay safe when I'm my own worst enemy? God damn. Vinny, did you stab yourself in the eye so we could forget you said Jackula? I don't believe I said Jackula, did I? You know, Dracula has a cousin. No. No, this is too stupid even for me. It, no, it's not even funny. It's not good. If someone in chat gets it, then I'll say it. But I didn't see it yet. No, it's not Tra uh, Shakula. Like Shaquille O'Neal? No, it's not that. It's not Chocula. It was gonna be Count Dracula. See what I mean? The build-up to it made it worse. Because I said uh, Jackula. Do you understand? Boy, me poking myself in my eye made me stupider. It's a lot of words you posted there, Magic. But, uh... Thanks. They said they're going away to college and they're gonna be busy, they can't watch the streams live and they're upset because they like participating live. Which is, you know, that's nice, but remember, once the stink is on you, it can never leave. You, you'll always... You'll always be a part of this thing. But it's smart, you know, do your college. I better not see you here when you start college, I, I swear to God. Get yourself an English degree, and then you can work at, like, a, a, a fo as a, as a, uh, photo- no. Then you can work- Well, you could probably do one or two things with an English degree, I'm not sure what. Vinny, what's the thing you miss most about public access TV? Just the- the people. There were some nutty, weird people, but I also really enjoyed them. They were- it was nice to socialize. Even for someone who fancies himself introverted, it was nice to socialize with so many nice people. Some are sh were shitty people and very, very narcissistic people. But most people that I, I met through that job were really, really great. And I miss them. I still run into a couple people every now and then. Vinny, have you ever talked to any of the people apart from Mike? I didn't know Mike from Public Access TV. We went to college together. Vinny, did you ever meet Jay Miller? Yeah, we're friends. I filmed his show a couple times, and... I, well, not, I, you know, we're, we're more than acquaintances. I don't see him frequently. But when we see each other, we have a lot to talk about. Did you meet him? No. But that's how I found out about Ding Ding. Did you ever meet Jay Leno? Uh -huh. Phil Conan! What's the show you got? You got a nice show? You doing well on the Tonight Show, huh? Your ratings are getting better. That's okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't we take you off the network, and I'll 
I'll take my show back. Uh, Conan, you sound good? Look at that snass. Holy symbol. It's a fucking snorkel. I just got a snorkel. Can this randomizer randomize enemies or bosses? No, sadly, but I would love if it, if it did. Bosses... Uh... It, it would be a bit of a fucking nightmare in a game like this. I don't even really know how it would be done. But I'm sure someone would love that option. I think another good option for randomization would be randomized text. So, someone suggested this the other day, I thought it was a great idea, like, randomized dialogue. So you get to the Dracula bit in the beginning, and it's just random lines from wherever else in the game, and then, you know, you get to Maria. What is a man? So, you've made it this far. In the name of your father, cease this foolishness. Not while there's a breath in my body. Then, for the master, I'll feast on your soul this night. Talk shit, get hit, Death. Remember how difficult Death was in Aria of Sorrow? Here we go. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Relic. Yes! Wait. No, what is this? Oh. That's not it. What is it? Shows enemy damage. Fuck off. Hmm. <laughs> this switch hasn't been pressed yet. I, I just, I wish I could have sat in whatever unholy booth recorded that line, and I want to see what direction that actor was given, if any. And then I want to see how pleased they were with their performance. Gallimoth is guarding a room with a relic. Okay, so Gallimoth is next then. Recording booth, do you mean broom closet? I would love to be a fly on the wall of the broom closet where they recorded that specific actor. I mean intern, I mean janitor, to do the line of Devil Familiar. I also would love to know how much they got paid, and if they ever used it again on their resume to say that they were in Castlevania Symphony of the Night. I, I would also love to know if the voice actor went to any conventions and signed autographs. It's one of my uh, fascinations in life, are the, uh, the, the bit actors that were in like you know, horror movies that go to, uh, Chiller Convention, which is a convention in, in New Jersey. Uh, it just passed a couple weeks ago. And it's like, an extra from Friday the 13th, that also happened to be an extra in Halloween. And they have their own fucking booth. And then it's like, you know, next to them might be streamer Vinny Vinesauce, streamer superstar Virgil. But, um, what was the other one? There was, uh... Yeah, like, Star Trek conventions usually have fun... ...fun guests... ...that appear as, like, a slug. Andorian slug number 14. The thing is, though, people do actually like meeting... ...like, just so they can say, oh, I met that guy. Like, when they talk to their friends, they can show the picture, the autograph, like, I met... The extra in Starship Troopers that got his guts ripped out by a bug. Vinny, how do you like the new circle icons on Twitch? I don't have an opinion, except to say that I will be... Um, I already have... Elizarin sent me a version of the Dark Shroom logo that is round and nice. But I don't understand, why, why would they do that? Like, what's so special about circle icons? What's the deal with circle icons? <clears throat> That was a horrible Jerry Seinfeld. Oh, yes, this is the correct way. I got pizza. The pizza just had a box. It was just in a box, and it said 30. 
30-second pizza. You know, it's funny, I just watched a YouTube video about the rise and fall of Little Caesars and Rise Again. About how, like, they... They started this business, this company, on the, the, you know... They started this business, um, trying to fit into the market. And they ended up doing so because they were the cheapest pizza. That was really quick, but also not sacrificing quality, which, I don't know, I, it's pretty much the worst pizza you can get. But you can get so much for six dollars, and that's why people get it. Well, it's not the worst pizza you can get in the world, but I mean, in, in terms of like... You're getting what you pay for. So it was a good video, it was really fascinating to see like how they cut their advertising budget from like 50 million dollars a year down to two million. And they started very obviously doing worse business. Um, and then they brought back Pizza Pizza. And that was, uh, a huge spike in sales. So even with infinite healing, this boss is still a huge fucking pain in the ass. Good thing I saved. That's my first death. That's my- probably gonna end up being my only death. Vinny, what's the name of the pizza place in New York City you said was amazing recently? Sauce. It's just called Sauce. Sending out an S.O.S. It's next to a club named Thrust. That's right. Does the sauce have a tang? Frangy, it's got a bit of a tang! Probably going to be my only death, I say to myself. Vinny, I've been searching for this imp voice actor for 15 minutes and I can't find it. Now that... sounds like... something that you would get, like, Reply All, the podcast, to find. They found more obscure shit in the past. But, I, I mean, maybe the voice actor for the imp just doesn't want to be known. You know, I'm positive someone out there can get this information, but... Is it worth it? So, I had access to this... this entire time. By the way, that's in the game normally. I... 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 fucking... God damn it! Please. It's the cube. It's the cube of Zoe. Fuck off! Relic in the caverns where the chupacabras are. I don't know, now that people are hacking into Symphony of the Night, I wonder if there's a way to just do a difficulty balance. Like, some modder out there. Maybe can find a way to just balance the game out properly. So, alright, here's the plan, everybody. Just so you know what's happening. I need one more relic still. I've been searching for this thing. I need it. it if it's not here, then it's somewhere in the regular castle. And that could be terrible. But once I actually get the relic... The rest is pretty easy. It's like a five-minute thing and then the ending. So... I have to knock this out tonight, otherwise... Uh, you know, it's gonna be a ten-minute follow-up stream. So it's- it's here. It's getting there. We're getting there. Once I get this relic, five minutes. That's all I need. Five minutes. Yes! Five minutes, here we go! Then it was in the last place you went to. I called it. That's my luck with randomizers. It starts out great, and then that happens. So, we just go to the center of Inverted Castle now. Which, I have a warp that takes me close. So, it'll take me five minutes to get there. With the shield- <coughs> With the shield rod, excuse me, with the shield rod, it shouldn't take me more than a minute or two to beat Dracula. And then we just watch the ending. Vinny, play Dreams. You are a Vine Sauce Silver, and you're telling me to play Dreams. You've been here for more than six months. 
you know when the games are set. That's what's uh, that, that's all I can do. I mean, I'm I'm bound by the schedule. I'm bound by the docket. Though, you know, I thought about it for a second. I was like, maybe I could do something wacky. And I could just stop playing this right now. And then not play Half-Life 2 and switch to Dreams. And just never finish this and never speak of it again. The truth is, though, I will be playing Dreams. Either tomorrow or Friday. So you're gonna get your wish. Your dream will come true. I wonder why Vangelis doesn't sue. If Iron Maiden can sue a game because it has the word Ion Ma Maiden in it, why doesn't Vangelis sue because his song was used? Yeah, I guess for anyone just joining, there are people who are like, wait, Iron Maiden is suing? Yep, they're suing because Ion Maiden, the game, is too close to the word Iron Maiden. Sorry, words. The reason they are suing is because it's creating confusion among consumers. That's their reason. Super cool, heavy, heavy metal band. With super cool, heavy metal values. Vinny, apparently the guy who voiced the imp is named Brian Beacock. Yeah, I don't believe you. I do not believe you. That, that is a fake vine sauce name that you just made up. That's the guy who voices him on the PSP version, though. That's for Dracula X Chronicles. Different guy, then. Okay, alright, so it's real, it's a real name, but it's a different game. Different version. You have done well in making it this far. I would expect no less from the son of our master. So you are the one. So you are the one who was controlling Belmont. Yes. I am the dark priest called Shaft. This world must be cleansed in the forge of chaos. Why did he say a different words? Why did you make Belmont Lord? He didn't of this say castle? you were the one called Shaft. What is that? For centuries, vampire hunters have defeated evil with holy power. That was an unused if line. Two vampire hunters were to fight each other. Oh. But Belmont's power is supreme among vampire hunters. None other could defeat him. Exactly. That's why I removed him as a threat, by making him into lord of this castle. But your plan has failed. Has it indeed? We'll see what happens after I destroy your weak human side. This is the bad ending where we don't get to hear about the one called Shaft. Yep, weak human side, you say, eh? Oh! Oh! You claim to love the darkness. Go then and dwell there for all eternity. But... But my goal is achieved! Count Dracula has come to purify this corrupt world has or is. with the searing flames of chaos. <laughs> That's right, Michael has been achieved, everybody. Father. Well met, my son. It's been a long time. I was hoping we would not see each other again. I can't allow you to leave here, Father. You have ever been the ally of humans. Have you forgotten what they did to your mother? Think you I would forget such a thing? No, but neither do I seek revenge against them. Still uttering the same nonsense. No matter. Now is the time to put aside your weak human side and join me in remaking this world! Why are Dracula, they American? In the name of my mother, I will defeat you again! Behold my true form and despair! You want me to despair? I'm sorry, why is my oh, shield God, hurt you, Dracula you Dad? Came, trouble the soul of my mother no more. Uh, how? How? How is it that I've been so defeated? Yeah, Dad, you have dude. You've been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. 
Ha! Ah! Sarcasm! For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? <laughs> Matthew 16, 26, <laughs> I, I believe. I love that so much! It's like, why? Why would you Tell even... me! What... What were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. <laughs> Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. Now, was that coming out of the monster face? And if so, which one? Oh, no, no, it was the middle. His body was in the middle of the monster faces. Never mind. Lisa, you tear me apart, Lisa. Forgive me. God, forgive me. Yeah, I love that. The, the fucking... the Bible quote, the, the delivery of the lines, it's all great. And yeah, Tommy Wiseau's a vampire. He like a vampire. So you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. Alucard. I'm sorry. It is my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. Must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do Who's now? Who's that quote originally from? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. Twould be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell, then. We'll not meet again. Alucard? Don't you want to go after him, Maria? No. It's best this way. Truman or Churchill? I can't ease his torment. Someday, perhaps, we will meet again. It's a and good on line. that day, maybe. I see. Let's go. But much like Everyone's Yeek, it was plagiarized. Yes. Let's get out of here. Maria just yeets Richter off the fucking cliff. I know people like the song, and on its own, it's a fine song. But why? There are now people in chat saying, Vinny, I've never played this. I've never played this before. Is this the real ending? I swear I didn't mod this in. So you are the one called Shaft? I am he. So you are the one called Shaft? No. It seems that your power is insufficient. It seems that your power is insufficient. Your master has grown strong indeed. These are all cut lines. There's so many of them. Once again, it seems we must come to blows. Farewell, father. Believe it or not, I shall miss you. The blood of Dracula flows strongly in you after all. But this whip is not my only weapon. 
I'll do my best. Now you'll be my own personal slave. <laughs> huh. oh, thank you. Till we meet again. There's a lot of fucking unused dialogue in this game. The link is broken. The castle is starting to crumble. What happened to Shaft? Consumed by the very demonic powers that he summoned. Damn! One who plays so close to the fire cannot fail but be burned. So you are the one called Shaft? Cool, okay, well, there you go. That's Castlevania Symphony of the Night randomized. It's good to revisit the game every now and then. A little frustrating, but, you know, managed to complete it. Um, even though it was Babby mode, it's always just nice to go through the castle and listen to the music and stuff. Good game. Maybe one day someone will make a mod for this where you can play through it um, and it'll be harder.